And Fez, you're already in a bad mood today, right? Yes, I'm already pissed off from this morning before the show even started. Now, why are you mad? Is it, let me guess, is it Shelby? Is it Chris? Is it Vito? Who's mad, made you mad today, Fez? Oh, it's people down the hallway again. I was asked not to mention any names, but got an email from Don Wicklin. Well, then you just mentioned the name. Oh, no, this is uh, who passed it along to me. Got an email from Wiki, got a phone call from Wiki, and I'm more than a little upset that I have been told to stay away from the fishbowl later on today. Uh, keep away. Don't go down there, I guess, doing my lurking thing. Uh, well, I think that that's nice that you heard that from Wiki in advance this time. No, it just means someone else is talking about me down the hallway again. Chris? Do you think it's Chris? No, I know it's not Chris. I Shelby? Know. Vito? Who is it? No, it's not any of them. I'm not going to mention this person's name, but... Uh, is it me? Apparently, I'm such a plague in this building that uh, I the certain areas need to be Fez quarantined. Mm. You see this as anti-gay? I totally see it as anti-gay. Yeah. Don't, don't let the gay guy go near the fishbowl later on today. Don't let him go around. I think it's more like whose dad is that peering into the fishbowl. <laughs> oh. His gay dad. Oh, in, all, in all fairness, who's gay dad? Well, then I would have had to adopt. But it's ridiculous that this stuff has to come up. Email and a phone call because the email wasn't enough? That somebody's down the hallway going to Wiki... Uh, running their cake horn, tooting that uh, right at Wiki, so that I have, so that I'm told right, to on. stay away from the fishbowl. All right, I just want to get one. Drives thing. me fucking nuts. Well, well, rather than fucking talk over me, can we stop for a second? <laughs> yes, I'm upset. I'm sorry. Yeah. How does someone run their cake horn? <laughs> Is that fucking impossible? That's not real. Is it cake? But by that you mean their mouth? Yes, I mean their. Of course, that's I a, mean their mouth. That's a fucking cake hole, <laughs> not a cake horn. Oh, uh, you either say to someone, "Fucking shut your horn," <laughs> or you shut your cake hole. But there's no such thing as a cake horn. <laughs> In this case, I think it applies. It a cake goes in one side, and the noise comes out the other. You fucked up. While you were trying, by the way, now let me tell you this: there's no such thing as a good story where you don't give away the na- the blind item stories. Do not work. You know what I mean? <laughs> I won't read the article that says, you know, what fucking movie star got a blowjob from a certain TV hostess. Can you? No. Can you guess? Just fucking tell us. Who it was. Or shut your fucking cake horn. Keep your cake horn. <laughs> shut your made up word, the <laughs> cake horn. People are talking about me. But, but look. And out of their cake horns. It's not about the cake horn, Chris. It is about the fucking cake horn. It's, it's not, not crazy. It's not about the cake horn. It's about somebody talking oh. shit about me Here, again. Here's the... You know why it's not about Don't the... Don't focus on that. But you know why it's not about the cake horn? Because there's no fucking such thing as a cake horn. This, been, this thing's been derailed by the cake ex- horn. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> Try to forget the fact, Chris. Um, excuse me, is this the bakery? I'd like to order a cake horn. What do you mean it's not a real thing? Isn't it a horn made out of cake? Or is it? Would you think it's a horn filled with cake? I think it's a horn filled with cake. There is no such thing as a cake horn. (laughs) Know that. It's cake hole. A horn sounds off. Cake yes. goes in a mouth. Right, you could have said... The mouth sounds off. You could have said either one, but you can't say both. <laughs> I found a cake horn. Right, now you're just putting up pictures of cake horns. That's a cake with a horn <laughs> decorated on a it. A horn-shaped cake. Why doesn't anyone on this team back me up? You're worried, Chris, that I said cake horn instead of, you know, that someone on your team's getting talked about down the hallway again. I talk about you for saying cake horn. It's a cra- it's crazy thing to say. You know, the Ohio State marching band, they get a lot of credit, but their cake horn player, I mean, is just outstanding. Oh! Whoa, whoa, 
Shut up did. about the cake horn, Shelby. It's not about that. It's about me being banned from a certain part of the building. That's ridiculous. Maybe it is anti-gay. It's like saying we don't want you in the men's room. It's almost like they're afraid that you're going to make up a word out of nowhere. <laughs> um, Dan, in Florida, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Bobby. It's, hey, Fezzy, I'm not normally with you, but today I'm fucking 100% with you. That makes complete, total fucking sense. You said toot your cake horn right after it. So I was following along, dude. That's a fucking word, man. That is a fucking word. Well, the horn, he could have definitely said shut your horn. I think that people do say that. And they do say shut your cake hole. Yeah. Well, toot, toot your cake horn. I would even go so far as you could have said Shut your bugler hole, because that, you know, is mm -hmm. like saying that's just meant to eat buglers. But the cake horn no. uh, doesn't fucking work. Generally, do you say pie hole or cake hole if you're going to tell someone to shut their hole? Cake hole. I say cake hole. Let's say pie hole. I think I'm more of a pie hole guy. Shelby? I usually go uh, pie hole or Danish flute, you know, depending oh, on... Oh, shit. oh fuck yeah! Wow. <laughs> this fucking kid took you down, Fezzy. That's like the one, the one, two, three kid jumped in the fucking <laughs> ring. <laughs> He's just upset he didn't think of the word cake horn. There is no word king, cake horn. There's no way to fucking think of it. It's it doesn't real. exist. It's not real, dude. Could we focus on what's at hand? What part of this team has been verbally attacked again? Verbally, I say gay bashed. No, that part doesn't matter. This is the cake horn. That's the fucking best part. It's fun, the cake horn. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's Sean, North Carolina. You're on the Run of Fez show. I remember growing up, we'd hear the cake horn go off, and we knew Daddy would be home from the cake factory any minute. It's kind of like the end of the Flintstones, <laughs> except for the cake horn would blow, and everyone at the bakery was able to head home. Fez, you've derailed this and taken it into a different area. That was not my intent. I guess from saying cake horn. My intent was to point out, oh, now this is being, being put into official company emails. So you think that they're trying to make you look crazy? Oh, yeah. Then let me give you this recommendation. All right. Don't use words like cake horn. Why did you say cake horn? I'm upset and Cake Horn came out. Wasn't there an Ellen Cake Horn that used to be on Saturday Night Live? <laughs> Loved her. It was Cleghorn. Tell her to shut her Cleghorn. Have you said Cake Horn before? <laughs> I would have assumed everyone had at no some point in their life. No one fucking said no Cake Horn. No. That one didn't... You, you, you took two phrases for the mouth. I don't mean to stop you from being frustrated, but you took two phrases and sham, jammed them together, and now neither one makes sense. It's adding to my frustration that this is all anyone wants to talk about. Vito is right. You're stupid, Fez. <laughs> no offense, but Vito is right about you. I tried to Google Cake Horn. I mean, if it's real, Google will have it. They just want. They just think I'm saying Cape Horn. Um, Joey, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, would you guys stop ganging up on on Fez? Just you know, shut your pastry pastry flaps and leave them alone. Nice Dude. try. You sounded like Ellen last night. Ouch! Oh, Trying to introduce somebody. Whoa. Boy, lesbian gay bashing. <laughs> Get you know who would have done a way better job of hosting the Oscars? That was, old that old Daily Show host, Craig Cakehorn. I mean, he would have done oh, he would have done a great no, job. Like a dick Damn yo! Why don't you try to fucking run the board instead of using your cake horn? Whoa. Try to do that correctly one day. Technical. So far, he hasn't made any mistakes today. No, with Chris uh, watching over his shoulder, Mama Bird. I feel like you're pulling the curtain back a little bit for the people. Yeah. <laughs> people Papa at home. Bird. They got no respect for you, Fez. This thing turned into a fucking serious. They got no respect for you. No, I, to me, it is very serious. Yeah, well, and they could care less. Well, they just don't want to be, you know, seen with you for whatever reason. It's weird. The guy's saying cake horn all over the place. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Jason, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, Ron, love the show. Fez, I love you. Uh, is the cake horn a standalone cake or a standalone <laughs> horn? Could we forget for two seconds that I said the word cake horn? Yeah, I got That's no all I can remember. I get no respect. My wife keeps uh, running a cake horn. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's doing impressions. <laughs> or was that actually Rodney? Impressions of a really bad employee. 
It's the it's the sh- it's the quick shoot down that doesn't work for you, Fez. You let them fucking string you out. I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt this other thing with you, but it points out why people think that you're a little bit odd. The cake horn. The cake horn has nothing to do with what the email was about you know or what? the phone call. You know what? Let me apologize to you. You are correct. I'm going to shut my cake horn and let you get back to what was really bothering you. What was bothering me is yet someone is still talking shit about me down the hallway when they shouldn't be. From an event that happened weeks ago, that was perfectly fine and was not my fault and has been told by told to me by the bosses uh, I did the absolute correct thing. If you So did, now if, if you did then why would they tell you to stay away from this one? That's what I don't understand because now it seems like when I was told, "Oh, you did nothing wrong." What time is this thing? Uh 4. You know Jesse Joyce is coming in today. He was a friend of that guy's. Oh yeah. Yeah, Jesse Joyce will be here in just a little bit in about an hour. Should I tell him to shut his cake horn and not go down there and bring up anything to him? Hey, if they're friends, I got no problem with it. I don't see anything wrong with saying hello to a friend. You were warned by Wiki. I was. Jesse Joyce wasn't. Yeah, but everyone knows now that you're behind it. If the two just happen to run into each other. I don't like this. Uh, Brooke, you're on the Run of Face show. How are you doing? Yeah. Hey, they banned Fez because the first rule of K-Corn Club is you can't talk about K-Corn. By the way, I was watching Fight Club again yesterday. A fucking great movie. Oh, yeah. You can't turn it off. It's too no, fun. I would never turn it off. Plus, he'll get a little Jared Leto action there, see his early stuff. Yeah, Jared Leto was there before his brother with the fucking star in his neck was going everywhere with him. His brother looks like a real scumbag. Did Jared you? Leto must have gave the greatest Oscar speech of all last night. It went on, don't you think it went on for a bit long i thought it was nailed i thought it was really someone performing a speech rather than reading a fucking laundry list i thought i i liked i get after i thought he was going to be out after he thanked his mom i was like oh that's really nice it's a nice little story jared then it kept going and kept going and well, kept going nonsense so oh, this is for the dreamers in ukraine and venezuela oh thanks. dude you want to know thanks. something about that though so yesterday I was trying, or the day before the Oscars, I was watching, I was one of the few watch, people watching the Independent Spirit Awards. I caught, I caught it. People from Venezuela were tweeting to everyone who was nominated for an Oscar, asking for them to bring it up. Like, bring up Venezuela, bring up Venezuela. Jarrett Leto was the only one to do it. Jarrett Leto listens to social media. He doesn't shut his cake horns. <laughs> he gets... Chris... I'm trying to get the word to be used more, so Fez, you know what I mean? I think we should just stop using it no, so we this, can focus. But I mean, by me using it, it goes like, like maybe now it's catching on. And then, but him laughing stops and makes it look like you're crazy. That's another derailment. <laughs> trying to turn around. Right. <laughs> In the Independent Spirit Awards, did you catch the giant editing fuck up when uh, McConaughey and Reese Witherspoon were up on stage? Mm-mm. They give they give them oh yeah I did they give that. the award out and they cut to Reese Witherspoon clapping and acting surprised that someone won the award from her seat when she was already up on stage presenting the award. I thought I was tripping my face off. I've known that Witherspoon is a warlock for quite some time now, and this just proves it. First shut time your cake horn, up. <laughs> Shelby. Shut your fucking cake horn. You don't even do a good job running the board. I heard. <laughs> Sucky. Oh. Sucky fuck. Bum, 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 bum. It's the Cake Horn News. <laughs> Today in the Cake Horn News, Shelby does a sucky job of running the board. It should be a blind item. Liz Heads Fire says, I hope Fez uses his cake horn in a cake porn. She was a big winner last night. I guess I thought we were going to re- uh, read off the winners. I guess not. Um... Here's uh, Jason and P.A. You're on the Running Fez show. Yeah, one time when I was young, we came back from the beach, and my dad sprayed my cake horn out in the driveway with the hose. It was weird. If you're bringing up the story from my childhood, you've got the wrong body, body part as the cake horn. That was your asshole? It was my ass. Was it your asshole, though? I'm sure the hose hit the asshole at some point. Did your dad, like, spread your cheeks? And spray right in your asshole because maybe that's why you're so fucked up and still virgin. Was he giving you an enema maybe instead? 
Did you tell him? He was washing the sand off of my ass. Sand, sand is a southern word for jizz. <laughs> I didn't know like that. Like I dropped some fucking sand on her tits. <laughs> now, did you go and tell someone or did you keep your cake horn shut? I sanded right in her fucking cake horn. <laughs> um, John, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. Hey there, Ronnie B. Uh, you know, an insider thing there. Uh, after parties at Oscars, they were serving half slices of cake horn. <laughs> So, you know, people are making fun of you instead of fucking mm-hmm. backing you up here. Yeah. In this anti-gay thing that happened. Yeah, anti-gay thing. And what can I expect when my own team, Chris Stanley and Shelby, <laughs> don't back me up? What am I supposed to say to Kate Corn? Honestly. They're embarrassed of you. If I'm being totally honest here, Fez, they're embarrassed of you. Well, that's mutual. You're embarrassing yourself? No. <laughs> no. So why is Vito laughing? Why is Vito laughing like you made a mistake? Vito's a big infant. All right, come on. What? Don't, don't, don't say on. that. That was hurtful. That's Vito okay. out of this. He's an innocent lamb. <laughs> you know, they say March uh, comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you March? Hi, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. K Clark, card holder number one, checking in. We don't have K-Corn card holders. <laughs> Yet. Hard Rock Johnny wants to know, has anybody got a K-Corn? I'm starving. He just wants a thin slice of K-Corn. Hard Rock Johnny, too. Yes. Joins these guys in the uh, Let's Bash Fez. It looks like it's me and you against everybody, Fuzzy. I don't know how As usual. <laughs> As usual. Yep, you I'm used fuck- to that around here. Put your son dance up against the fucking Bolivian army. Light him up. One more time. Anyway, you were saying something before everyone laughed at you for saying cake horn. <laughs> <laughs> and I really do want to get to the part that there was some gay bashing that took place by Wiki. No, Wiki was just pass- passing it along. Okay, I thought he was gay bashing. So he was t- uh, he passed along the I guess gay warning of no gays allowed near the fishbowl at four o'clock today. <laughs> well, then stay out of there. This is a fucking perfect chance for you to go. Oh, I'm gonna stop being a fucking pain in the ass and be cool. Oh, you won't see me near that place. Okay, then what's the problem? So that's a good thing. Yeah, you finally fucking learn your lesson. No, what I'll do is, if, uh, since the bathroom's right across from the fishbowl, I guess I'll just piss in a bucket in the studio <laughs> if I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Starting at four. <laughs> I better not have too much water today. I might have to, oh my God, go within 20 feet of the fishbowl after four o'clock to piss. Did they, men- so- did they mention if anybody else was banned from the fishbowl, or is it just you? Because <laughs> no. I can't wait to see who this guest is. I mean, I'm... I'm- Chomping at the bit here. I already know who it is. Um, here's uh, Ronnie. You're on the Ronnie Fez show. Fez Ronnie, you come to me on the day that my daughter is to be married and ask me to do this favor. But you do not bring me a cake horn. Why are you doing Carl Spackler as a godfather? It fucking it works with a cake horn. Charlie, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. Shelby and Chris ought to be ashamed of themselves. This is about a team effort. Like the Super Bowl 19 Miami Dolphins. Finkel and Einhorn. It wasn't Kate Corn. Finkel and Einhorn. It's a team effort. It should be. Because you can't fucking eat your cake corn and have it too. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, wait, eat. you can't have your cake corn and eat it too. What always comes first, have or eat? Have. Okay. Eat. So you can't eat your cake corn and have it too. Yeah, well, in that respect, it's just cake. Cake corn sounds better, though. And you can't have your cake and eat it. It's, it's, it's have is first. Wikipedia. No, see, every fucking chance he looks yeah. it up. He, oh, chance yeah, to he's fucking lightning fast on that. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm real quick on the Google, man. He's got no problem there. Well, yeah, well, I looked up K-Corn. This fucking doesn't exist. <laughs> Why are you still mentioning it, then? Why is it every other word out of your mouth, Chris? They think it's the Cape Horn, Cape of Horn or whatever. The, like, Cape of Good... Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they, Google thinks this is nuts. 
I'm gonna bake him a cake on I can't refuse. <laughs> that doesn't make Wait, sense. Just heard that, that fucking bit was done in a different way. <laughs> But better. Out of all the movies you could fucking try to parody, you do one a guy just did eight <laughs> seconds ago. That he did back there. You shut your fucking keg horn right now. <laughs> uh Joe, Yonkers. Hey buddies. Yeah. Hey uh Ronnie. Wasn't there a character of Bugs Bunny, Foghorn, Cake Horn? Oh, that's probably what you were thinking of. <laughs> no, there wasn't. Giant talking cake. <laughs> You're about as sharp as a uh, bowling ball there, my friend. Now sit your cake horn down for a second. Now, doesn't anyone even want to be concerned that no straight people in this building All were told right. to stay away Stop. from the fishbowl? Stop. Stop. You're making up the thing. Have you talk to every straight person here. <laughs> By the way, I'll it's be so fucking far gone before that hack bit starts. I don't care anyway. Um, Stryker, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, I'm just curious. My birthday's coming up. Is there any flavor of cake corn that's better than the other? I'm, I'm kind of partial to raspberry. You think that would work? I don't like raspberry or anything. I'm going to say something right now. I'm not crazy about cooked fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes the fruit taste worse. I like a nice apple strudel. Not a fan? I can eat. Don't get me wrong. I'll eat it. Yeah. But uh, I'm not a big fan. I like cooked fruit. I like a warm fruit. <sighs> yeah. Not even pie. No, especially that's what I'm talking about. The we'll fucking bite. Jesus, Vito. Think before you talk out your cake horn. <laughs> there right. it goes I, again. Are I, you I, keeping track? <laughs> you running a tally I here? Got, I got to tell you this. This guy Joey Huds wrote. This coworker comes up to him. What's so funny? Because Joey's laughing. Me. A guy said cake horn. <laughs> <laughs> Explains nothing. <laughs> There's worse problems in the world. Work yeah. discrimination being one of them. <laughs> about the Ukraine, man? That too. Holy shit. Brendan Clearwater, you're on the run of Fed show. I swear, I'm sorry. Hi. I swear to God. This is ESPN. We'd like to do a show. Oh, uh, Brenda on. Lee. <laughs> How you doing, I'm BL? Hey, guys. Hey, I'm at Philly Spring Training. I got to go. But I, uh, ESPN <laughs> wants you guys to do a show called Around the Cake Horn. <laughs> <laughs> you too, BL. Oh, no, she just hung up that quickly. <laughs> I'm at Philly Spring, spring Training, so I got to go. You don't have to, you're not fucking getting ground balls. <laughs> 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 Shake don't, act like you, yeah, don't act like you're fucking pitching but BP. You're just showing up and watching the fucking game. BL used to be down at uh, spring training when those guys were wearing wool uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> she saw Cy Young win his, <laughs> his fucking 600th game. Oh, that's just me. I better shut my cake horn. Oh, uh, um, here's uh, Pete. Pete, you're on the Run of Fez show. Oh, uh, hey, buddy. Listen, uh, I'm having a lot of trouble getting these uh, cakes to fit on my feet. I'm not sure if there's like a device or some sort of implement I could use to help them. Here's a cake shoehorn for you right there. Uh, hey, Bonnie, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys, all this talk has got me so cake horny. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need some help. Chris and Shelby will be right over. Mm -mm. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying this the most out of anyone. It's fun. Said I'm going to fuck some lady. How is that an <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to allude to anything. It's anti-gay. Oh, that shit is so goddamn funny. Um, here's uh, Phil. Phil, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Uh, Fezzi, you need to relax. They're just pulling your chain, you know? Now go get your fucking cake horn. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You keep them here. Do me a favor, Chris! Keep them here! Um, here's, uh, here's Tony. Tony, you're on the Ron Fez show. 
Yeah, Ronnie, uh, I found out where K-Corn is actually used. It's used in porn. Instead of ass to mouth, it's ass to K-Corn. Match. <laughs> it was uh, Matt, Atlanta. You're on the Run of Fez show. Lost your buddy. Uh, Jim, in New York, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, is this the bakery that specializes in standalone blueberry cake corn? Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck off yeah. at this point. Well, what's... The, oh, here we go. Yeah. It's but, a great band. No, have yeah. you ever heard of them? They're called cake corn. It's cake in their horn section. <laughs> Yeah, you're great at grabbing that production. You're fucking oh! excellent at that. that oh! I got it. I didn't say K-Corn. You just said it. You know what? It's not about fucking K-Corn. <laughs> seriously. I'm seriously fucking pissed. About what? The K-Corn thing? About this fucking email that I get over the weekend. About a phone call to make sure that I understand the email. But and stick to the Gestapo tactics around here. Fez. You did say cake corn, though. You can't I said get out cake of it. corn. Big fucking deal. There's a band called Cake. What am I supposed to do? If I was in the, on the board, I would have pulled it a while ago. It re I, I'm seriously pissed off. At what? That this is the, you know, that Chris and Shelby, this is how they go. I know. You know, cool. when... <laughs> I know they do. <laughs> That, well, you're not is, the only one driven nuts by this. I'm crazy about it, too. Gruesome I know. Twosome. It just... What's that, Shelby? The gruesome cake horn twosome. Oh, I, fuck you. That was Shelby. Shelby. That was Shelby. He's pushing buttons over there. Why don't you go to fucking best of? <laughs> <laughs> he laughs at it. He laughs. He laughs, he laughs at his moron. own mistakes. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> Laughing. What are you gonna do, Fuzz? Uh, I'll be around here a lot longer than these two will be. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, Me and Ron no. stick around. Oh, Things no. change around us. <laughs> oh, Christ. So fuck you. I'm fucking pissed about this. <laughs> Over fucking cake. Horn the band. <laughs> this seems to be. Everybody was having a good time, and then those. Two I wasn't. Went... No, those two take it too fucking far. You know what I mean? Like the first couple times with cake horn. <laughs> Sorry, the first couple times with K-Corn was probably like a little funny, but then they push it and push it, you know? They don't know when to fucking stop. No, they don't know. It's like fucking Mutt and Jep over here. <laughs> like fucking thing one, thing two. Before you know it, they, the whole fucking house is messed up and our parents are coming home. <laughs> Look at Vito laughing. He never, you know That's because I mean? that's how he was trained. <laughs> oh, by these two assholes? <laughs> yeah, exactly. To be an asshole. Mostly trained by Mostly a, trained To be an by asshole me. by assholes. Just get in the studio. You're going to laugh at him, all right? Get in <laughs> Oh, Listen shit. to him. He doesn't even respect it. You're fucking mad. Uh, Sam, you're on the Run of Fez show. Sam. Whoops. Go ahead, buddy. Hey, Fezzy. Fuck these peasants. Let them eat cake horn. Here's the, the queen. How you doing, darling? <laughs> Fezzy, you're going about this all the wrong way. <laughs> I have not laughed this morning. <laughs> for a long time. You know, you got to learn to toot your own cake horn. You're the only one laughing at yourself, <laughs> your majesty. You can only, right. There can only be one person laughing at themselves. <laughs> That's logic. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Look, people are writing up on Twitter. It's so annoyed in traffic. Where's my hashtag cake horn? Here's your, where, Mrs. Fields, where's your new product? Hashtag cake horn. Is he saying cake horn or gay porn? Is cake corn a fruitcake? My new favorite hashtag, shut your cake horn. I could use some icing on my cake horn. That sounds a little sexy, huh? Because <laughs> <sighs> you get mad at those guys, though, right? Absolutely. It just, uh, you know, I should, yeah, like Queen Elizabeth said, maybe I should just get used to it. Gang up on the gay guy. The one gay guy. No, not even t technically gay. Yeah. Not even technically, yeah. yeah. Um, here's, uh, let me go over my buddy John and Mass. Listen, Tito, what do you think? I don't know, Pop, there's a lot of money in that cake corn. Huh? <laughs> get with the Godfather. Yes. I'm out of all the movies. The we don't get into the cake corn now. <laughs> maybe the five families, maybe all of them will get into it. We don't get into the cake corn now. We risk everything. Maybe not now, but 10 years from now. Fezzy to be teased is to be loved. Mm. I love you, buddy. Oh, I can feel it. 
I feel the love in the emails, the phone calls, the comments in the room from my staff. Yeah, I feel the love. Fezzi, we're not going to give the cake corn to our own people. We'll take it uptown. They're animals anyway. <laughs> they have no souls. <laughs> they have no souls. What a terrible fucking shit to say. I mean, that's like worse than any racism <laughs> at all. They are soulless. So let's pump them full of dope. Who cares uh, about them? This one came up. Stop pointing that cake hole at my daddy! <laughs> so what? One, one cake horn's looking this way, one cake horn's looking that way. So what? What we have here is a failure to communicate with cake horns. <laughs> Look at fucking Chris laughing at everything. Oh, he thinks it's hysterical. There are movies I'm familiar with. <laughs> Seriously, he's giggling like a baby in a fucking bathtub. Look at him, Fez. <laughs> All right, well, you know, when people start talking about Chris around the building, let's see how much he enjoys it. <laughs> I will address anything that's said about me. Oh, that Chris is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Who's in the Shelby? Yeah. Shelby, but, so Shelby will be coming up at tomorrow's meeting. In what way? Uh, I don't think in a positive way. At all. Really <laughs> dropping the ball on things. Who are you going to tell? I have to meet with Wiki tomorrow. <laughs> Because it's non-fucking-stop around here. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> Why are you talking like this, Popeye? <laughs> Why does everything you say sound like Popeye? Whoa, starting to lose it a little bit, buddy. <laughs> Ronnie, in Texas, you're on the Ronnie Fez Show. Wow, this is quite a... Quite a change from uh, when I saw Fezzi a couple of weeks ago in all those jewelry commercials. Every kiss begins with K, corn. All right, Pittsburgh. I, my, my favorite song is 76 K, corns in the gay parade. <laughs> More gay bashing. <laughs> Welcome to Sirius XM. 76 K, corns in the gay parade. God damn, Fuzzy. A fucking cake one thing turned me around. <laughs> that was my favorite fucking thing ever. What did you mean to say? Cake hole? Or did you mean they were fucking tooting their horn? I meant to say cake horn, but I didn't realize it would become the focus of the planet Earth. So you actually thought cake horn was a fucking word? Yes, and uh, I still do. <laughs> it's, it's, I just you looked it up. To fucking I looked it up. <laughs> that doesn't exist yet. Maybe you're making it fucking exist. I'll check Urban Dictionary. Mike, you're on the Run of Fez show. Guys, guys, guys. Fez is right. There's a lot more serious issues going on. There are millions and millions of people that don't even have cake bar. <laughs> That's true. They got nothing to eat. Um, here's uh, Omar Canada. You're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie. What's going on, buddy? Good. I got I got the actual definition of cake or with me though. Uh, you know, a lamb roast is two guys and a chick. I think it's uh, two guys and a dude. That's what a cake or. That's all I try to tell you guys. All right, good. I think this was the first time the term was ever used, Fuzzy. It's 75. And this is on Soul Train. <laughs> Why is Soul Train funny, Vito? <laughs> I just thought, I was on Soul Train as a stereotypical, like, black show. There's these fucking goofy white guys. Oh, is that goofy white guys? Yeah. It's average white band, brother. That's the fucking uh, AWP. Uh, anytime there would be a white guy on fucking Soul Train, it was like a big, exciting thing for him. They everybody. made it! Yeah. Hall and Oates got on there, Bowie got on there. Is it like when you see like a white guy playing the NBA? Well, yeah, it was like Larry Bird, how he suddenly Scalvin. became your favorite fucking player. I like Larry Bird. Why? Uh, I don't want to say why. <laughs> I just don't want to say why. He's just my favorite. <laughs> I don't get the 
joy out of it than everyone else does. Fun song. No, I get the shit down the fucking hallway. That's what I fucking get. I get that constantly. Hey, Hard Rock Johnny, how you doing, buddy? Hey, happy Mardi Gras, everybody. If you get a baby in your cake horn, you gotta buy the next cake horn next year. See, you want a baby in your mouth, you fucking sicko. Oh, Whoa. Johnny! He's just piling on with Chris and Shelby. But that's Johnny. That's our buddy. You just called him a fucking sicko. <laughs> I expect Johnny to be a buddy, not just jump on the pile here. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fezzy. I just wow, Fezzy. Cake I, I may use. I may start using Cake Horn. I'm using it all the time. <laughs> there actually was one of my favorite bands. They had that song, "The Distance," right? Wasn't that Cake Horn? Yeah. Uh, again, the joke's been done. You fucking fuck. <laughs> I never saw anybody yell at Johnny like that before. I gotta just I'm actually uncomfortable with that. And implying, like, the, you know, yeah. I feel you. Uh, implying that he's not a 9 11 hero. <laughs> <laughs> I actually stood at the pit and gave out cake horns to all the firemen. <laughs> Say, 9 11, you're gonna joke about that? I, yeah, why would you bring it up, Johnny? I didn't fucking even animal. start that one. What's wrong with me? <laughs> You fucking fucko. What, do you, what did you call Johnny? Fucking sicko. Sick, fucking sicko. I think it was more like you fucking sick. Oh. Oh. Oh, someone else has trouble getting comments out. Oh, yeah, there's that song. Mikey Day just wrote to me, I never gave Fez one ounce of cake horn. What a dick. <laughs> See, if that's the kind of the asshole that you want to align yourselves with, please, feel free. Not me. I'm on your side. I'm against Always. all these. Always. I appreciate it. I'm against all these bastards, like Shelby, Johnny, Vito. I just like some cake with my horn. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Johnny. Later, boys. You fucking sicko. I might need you to isolate that thing they yelled at Johnny because he either fucked up midway through or just figured out, oh my God, I'm yelling at Johnny and not fucking Shelby. <laughs> you, f you, you want a baby in your mouth, you fucking Dude. sicko. Who's annoyed you most, Fez, today? Uh, the person talking to Wiki. And after that? Uh, then I would say Chris, then Shelby, oh, then wow. Johnny. Me over Shelby? Shelby's a real asshole. I'm just fucking and, buying cakes off. And oh, <laughs> oh, I'm shocked at your uh, your non-loyalty to Shelby. I should be used to it with me. <laughs> what? Look, dude, you had somebody fucking stand shoulder to shoulder with you, and that's me. Yeah, always. That's somebody you can fucking count on. Unlike these cock fucks. <laughs> <laughs> How come you're not mad at Vito when he's laughing at everybody's fucking jokes? Uh, Vito kids. has no idea what he's even laughing about. I came in here. He's just said sitting here Chris giggling. He did. He said he hates me. I had your back. I came back saying he hates me. Everyone that fucking hates me. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hates Chris should be a name of a type TV show. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, Matt, you're on the Run Fed show. Yeah, um, the last one shut up. I hold, so I just shove my cake horn into it. Seemed to work. Chris, you're on the Run and Fez show. Hey, Fezzy. Yeah. You hear about the, uh, that shipwreck off of cake, cake horn? No, I Everybody's didn't. Everybody's dead. Nope, didn't hear about it. Cake horn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You got upset, huh, Fez? Yeah. I was pissed to begin with. Now I'm really pissed. Why? Because people aren't backing you up? Yeah. Why? Oh, yeah. You know, I understand. You know, understand it, I guess, down the hallway. People want to try to make, uh, you know, gay bash down there. Um, but, you know, you expect different from your own team. I know I do. How am I gay you would, bash? You, you, you would expect, uh, you know, some backup. I do remember this. I remember when I had a problem and all these guys came right to my aid right away. Mm -hmm. We formed a fucking bond. 
I just, so I know what you're going through right now. I kept my cake horn shut All and right. swan yeah, just running people and brought it up again. Just join the the uh, chorus of gay bashers at Sirius XM. <gasps> I'm gay bashing right now. Thank you for admitting it. That was that was a rhetorical thing. I didn't I'm not. He Don't goes, isolate that. He said to me, he goes, <laughs> um, hey, you want to see a really funny movie? And I said, Yeah, and he goes, Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> he said, Hysterical. <laughs> Look. <laughs> McConaughey had some great scenes, and there was laughs in it to be had. Here was the thing, too. Did you notice Ellen did this joke? Uh, one thing I learned from this is don't fuck at a uh, rodeo. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, isn't that kind of like blaming the victims again? Yeah. Yep. She was awful last night. Do you think she was anti-gay? I thought that joke was anti-gay. Wow. Everyone's got you upset. Oh, Michelle runs down the hall and saves you. <laughs> Shelby isolated Fez's. Fez's. All right, let's take a listen, Shelby. Oh, wait, this is weird. Shelby knows how to run the board now? That's weird all of a sudden that it's something against me. Now he has skills? That's really weird. Let's take a listen. Hey, Hard Rock Johnny, how you doing, buddy? Hey, happy Mardi Gras, everybody. If you get a baby in your cake horn, you got to buy the next cake horn next year. See, you want a baby in your mouth, you fucking sicko. Oh, <laughs> Johnny! You were so fucking mad at him. We've never gotten mad at Johnny. That's our buddy. Yeah, I'm fucking... Pe- Johnny should fucking know better. Johnny, you, Johnny, I expect to be a friend and back me up. Chris, he's not a friend. Shelby's not a fucking friend. No! So why would I even fucking expect them to back me up on one fucking thing around here? Is this about the cake horn thing? <laughs> no, it's about what uh, what happened to me over the weekend. What happened? To- what are you smiling about, Vito? I didn't do Get anything. Get the fuck out of the room. Well, wait, Vito. Were you smiling about cake horn? I didn't know. I don't even know what's happening. Sit just- there with a big shit-eating grin on his face. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't even do anything. I just laughed at cake horn. Everybody was laughing at cake horn. Get the fuck out of here. Wait, one more thing. Were you laughing about the cake horn thing? Yeah, I thought cake horn was funny. Everybody was laughing at cake horn. I don't know why I'm getting singled out now. You're a fucking intern. You want to get singled right out the fucking door? That's like bullying. I don't think it's bullying. I think it's uh, addressing an intern who's fucking back-talking me. I just laughed. At K- he asked me a question, and I answered it. Who's he, Chris? No one was Ron- saying anything to you. Ron you're, literally uh, said to me, what I mean, you're getting in? pissed, and you're sitting there with a big, giant fucking grin on your face. I mean, if, like you fucking dumb-witted asshole. Right, this is really embarrassing, because we didn't even promote this, but Cake Horn is trending on Twitter. <laughs> oh, Yes. And now it makes everybody else look fucking crazy. And Vito, I get mad at you only because you're fucking trained by these losers. That's Chris Stanley and Shelby. Shelby. I, don't I get with mad Chris. at you. I get mad at you because that's how you were taught around here. I don't associate with him. All right, right you now, Cake Horn is number four in the whole country, <laughs> and we didn't even promote it on the show. Isn't it word, Cake Horn? I assumed it was a word, and it was one of many words I was saying about a topic. But, it just but say- it's the one that everyone latched on to. It's number two. <laughs> With a bullet. That's cake horn. That's ha- kind has- of crazy. Hashtag cake horn. Pardon me if I don't feel like fucking celebrating. Well, it's a great thing if you can get to number two. Look, I'm just If we can get this. it up to number one. I'm screen capping. I mean, some of these people. Millie Hatchet says, did Fez refer to um, the women's restroom as the fishbowl? No, it's our performance studio. Someone wrote, I love Fez's new character, Cake Horn Faghorn. Yeah. That's anti gay, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Chris, where's the big laughs? Where's the big laughs at Feghorn? <laughs> oh, there what we go. Shelby, like there we go. Shelby, say? too. Say yeah. Like that. Uh, I was waiting for the delayed reaction. I guess I got it. By the way, with the thing about Shelby that annoys me, he actually had to push a button yeah. to be heard to be laughed yeah. in here. He you had want, to hit a button and then laugh at it. He wanted everyone yeah, to that, know. That self-hating gay will one day change his tune when he realizes what's going on in his own life. Aren't all gays self-hating? You gotta no. find strength. <laughs> Not with those arms, you won't. 
Here's Andy in Cleveland. New from Silver Eagle Records. You love the music of Joe Jackson, but you've never heard it played on the kick horn. <laughs> Well, great. We got the Joe Jackson bit for the 400th fucking time. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking asshole losers around here. Got nothing better to do, and that includes Chris and Shelby, obviously. Nothing better to do than just come after me because I I said the word fucking cake horn. (laughs) Fuck all of you. Hey, hey, Fez, I actually saw the classic Shelb. Tweet it during the show. I'm starving. Anybody got any hashtag cake horn? Oh, learned to tweet, did you? I already knew how. Might as well use the skill. <laughs> yeah, wish you would have last night. Remember who Vito was laughing at you, though? And he never laughed like you told him. Vito, leave the room. But wait, before we even do that, some of these things are like really... I mean, they're doing a lot of fucking... You know, Twitter fucking cake horn jokes. Are we still trending? Yeah, we're still we're we're number two with the fucking. We're we're about. Why can't to we get to number one? one? We're gonna fucking take. What's it take? One. I mean, seriously, what's it take to get number one with hashtag cake horn in this town? A, r- a real disloyal staff on a radio show. Um, a homophobic company. Hashtag cake horn. Hashtag kiss my ass, Chris. All right. Come the on. bots have picked it up. The bots have just fucking thrown out All right, So when the bots are corn. there, you got it. It's a boost, you know? The thing is, Vito's still sitting after you throw him out like eight times. But before we get into that, <laughs> the cake horn thing came from where? Because after today, I promise never to say it again. Thank you. It's not that big a fucking deal. All right. I, Seems I like can't you're promise that. It came from me getting upset today because I had to deal with an email over the weekend from Wiki uh, saying that I have been requested to stay away from the fishbowl. You're telling, speaking for the 400th time, we got it. You got to stay away from the fishbowl. Fishbowl. No, I just said that. Oh, no. I said fishbowl. Look, see, we all make mistakes. Of course, when I make one, it doesn't fucking trend. Um, here's uh, Paul in the Bronx. Paul, what do you got? Fezzi, I'm on your side. I know exactly what you're talking about. A little horseshoe cake. But I, it, that's not the name. But I know what you, you're thinking of. I, it's eight degrees of separation. You got your cake. You got your Let Me Cake. You got your Marie Antoinette, famous uh, woman. You got your Helena Troy. Helena Troy, you got your Trojans. You got your Trojans. You got your... Mythical creatures, you got your Minotaur. Minotaur's got a horn. Cake horn. Bingo. Uh, Trendline, Fantastic. Trendline USA said the tweet with the most impact uh, is Cake Horn. Trend was published by at Ron and Fez uh, SXM. Well, it's going to look like we wanted to do that. <laughs> You know what I mean? I had no intention of doing that. I didn't want to spend the first hour of the show talking about fucking cake horns. And yet you did, Fuzzy. It's a cake horn world. Social media can really drive you fucking crazy, can't it? You never know what's going to just, you know, get picked it's up. It's like a little embarrassing sometimes. Something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Cake horn. That looks dumb now. Um, Joe, you're on the Run Fez show. Yeah, I just wanted to say my favorite uh, Cosby bit is Daddy's great. Give us the chocolate cake, horn. Ruben in Canada, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, hey, Fezzy, I just bought my daughter a new goldfish. We're going to name it Finding Cake Horn. You don't hear me fucking laughing about it. I was laughing a little bit. But you call Chris on his cell phone. What? He's taking a selfie right now. I want to be big. Steve like in Rochester, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, buddy, I was wondering if you could tell me where I can get that new uh, cake horn turn at. I'm going to read some of these tweets so we can be aggravated together, Fez. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a cake horn. 
Ain't no party like a can't party because a cake corn body don't stop. Someone left the cake corn in the rain. I don't think that I can take it. Garth, Indiana, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys. Hey, somebody get Molly on a, making a cake in the shape of a horn. If Molly's actually went with a cake horn and it became a bigger fucking cake than the Ron Bennington who's got his own cupcake, that would be the final irony. Would that make you happy or sad, Fez? Uh, no, it would not make me happy at all. It would be just make me more pissed off because I would realize, oh, yes, even more people against me in this world. I don't think anyone's against you. I think people. They're all fucking against me. They're against me down the hallway. They're going to my boss to say, keep them away from the fishbowl. Well, you didn't mention they're, the fishbowl thing a million times. The staff isn't with me at all, ever. Like Chris and Shelby? Chris and Shelby. They've turned Vito against me. Not Vito. Yeah. At least he left the room when you told him to. Vito, I'm telling you, get out. Wait, for one second before we send him out. Fez, none of this stuff aggravates you at all? You stay cool with it? You think it's funny now? No, I don't think it's funny one bit. I think it's a, I think it's all a shitty move on people's parts. Like someone shit on the cake horn? Or in the cake horn? People are tweeting out pictures of cakes with hashtag cake horn. That's embarrassing. How's the trend? We still trending? Oh, we're still trending, yeah. We're solidly at number two. What's number one that's so fucking great? I'm I'm about to I'm nut. loyal staff? I'm about to nut too quick. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to be able to beat... No, I think we can. Hashtag. No, I'm about to nut. <laughs> Who's fucking going to spell I'm about to nut? It's easy. Hashtag cake corn. Two words. One. Yeah. Hashtag cake corn. But uh, I'm about to nut is pretty fucking impressive. <laughs> or a bury I'm about to nut. Too quick. Hashtag cake horn. That reminds me, uh, I just fucking um, put up a picture of uh, Jem, the girl with the big ass from Instagram, for <laughs> about to nut too quick. <laughs> um, all right, some of these have come up. I forgot my pie trumpet. Can I borrow your cake horn? 12 days of cake horn. This bit is icing on the cake horn. May the cake horn be with you. Cake of porn? No, hashtag cake horn. Cake horn? I never even met her. Seven layer hashtag cake horn. How many cashews does it take to change a light bulb? Hashtag cake horn. I hate that we're twin, uh, trending on something we didn't even set out to do. This just came out of nowhere, man. I like when we want to trend and then we do. This is an impromptu trend, is what this is. With hashtag cake horn. Yeah. Weird. It's weird to just trend out of nowhere. I know, it's nuts, right? <laughs> Very odd. I don't I mean, know how to feel. Any, <laughs> anyone could fucking trend if you grab Merle Streep and all these fucking movie stars yeah, with you. Yeah, please. But cake horn? That's fucking embarrassing. This is a mistake that my fucking partner made. I mean, Vito hasn't even got up and left yet. Vito, get out of here. No one is going to... Go be back to the fucking booth. Fez, here's your problem right now. You cannot be respected if you keep saying the same thing all the time and it doesn't take place. No, now, I can't one... be respected because I have a staff that turns the interns against me and trains them to be that way. I'm no. on the fence still. Chris, I can and... still be won over. I could care less. I could give a shit about winning you over. Could you? Uh, do you mean that you could care less or could care more? What is it, Chris? We're fucking number one trending in the United States. Hashtag K-Corn. Cut the cake. Let's do the cut the cake song. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, by the way, we got to get rid of that because the all right, all right, all right is just <laughs> fucking burnt after one day. Two days, man. The, the Spirit Awards, everyone was doing mm -hmm. it. Like, off the bat. But a lot of people are going to like this. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> they don't know what they're doing. Uh, Je Pat in Boston, you're on the run of Fez show. Oh, fizzy cake corn, and I don't care. Fizzy cake corn, and I don't care. Fizzy cake corn, and I don't care. 
I don't hey, care Bri- either if you fucking die. Brian, you're on the running Fez show. Hey, Fezzy, my dad touched my cake on through. I feel ya. Although it didn't make me a pita puffer. Um, Andy, you're on the running Fez show. Yeah, um, look, Fez, about the whole cake horn thing, you're an idiot. Um, and anybody know where I can get rainbow chip frosting? Because I really want some. Mike in South Carolina, you're on the running Fez show. I thought Sir Walter Raleigh sailed around the Horn of Africa on the Cape Horn, and turned out he spread AIDS by going around the Cake Horn. David Columbus, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hashtag Macho Man Putin would never be caught with the Cake Horn. That one actually never even took off the way Cake Horn did. Uh, Evan, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ron, did you hear that next year the Charlotte Bobcats are changing their name to the Charlotte Cake Hornets? Adam in Alberta. Adam. Yo. Yeah. Yo, I just got a question for you, Fezzy. If the if the guys lay off you a little bit, will you pull in your cake horns? Cake horn was a term for mouth that I used earlier. So you fucking idiots don't even know what you're fucking talking about, as usual. How did you How did you use it? I said somebody was down the hallway shooting off their cake horn, <laughs> tooting it at Don Wicklin. <laughs> And now it's the most talked about thing in the United States on Twitter. <laughs> Within what? That is really weird. That is really fucking weird. The entire country. Nothing is being talked about more on Twitter than hashtag K-Corn. Hooray. You don't find that kind of funny? No, not in the least. Because it just, it just shows who wants to jump on the gay bashing bandwagon around here. It just exposes people like Chris and Vito and Shelby for who they really are. Vito's still sitting there, didn't you throw Vito, him out? Vito, get the hell out of here. I don't know how many times I have to tell it. But see, that's what you can't do and, and be an effective leader. You can't say the same thing over and over. You know what I mean? You've got to change your way of dealing with stuff. It's like the other day. Fine, I'll just go upstairs then and deal with it there with the intern supervisor. See, that makes you look like a tattletale. That's not going to get your respect. Why are you overly excited about the fucking thing where you keep looking it up? I'm just, you know, screen capping. Just, you know, documenting. That's well, all. why? Because that annoys Fez. So he had something to put up in the office. Um, Nathan in Canada, you're on the Run Fed show. Hey, uh, downstairs in the uh, gay bashing bandwagon, I've uh, beat the cake horn like five times. Nobody's come down. You guys coming or uh, sound this cake horn a few more times? <laughs> Devin Cleveland. Keep doing your joke that didn't work the first fucking time, asshole. Sound the, cl- hey. the cake horn, I mean, it is the number one trend. It works. Uh, time hey, in the fair. Bronx. Hey, Fez, what's, what's cum taste like? Fuck you. Tastes like your dad. Oh. Holy you shit. That? Tommy, you're Ronnie. on the run. Yeah, go ahead, Tommy. Ronnie, yeah. anybody, anybody touch face with pie hole and see how pie hole is taking all this right now? Hey, Tommy. Yo. Um, here's uh, Mike. Mike, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, I was asleep on the couch and I blasted my cake horn and woke myself up. It's our old buddy Tom in Madison. Do I make you cake horny, baby? We even lost Tom on this one, Fez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even there's Tom no in Madison. I, I love you, but cake cakehorn's got to stand. It's got to stand. It's Own that fucker, Fez. Own it. You should be happy. A, a word... I'm not happy one bit. I'm not happy about the situation in this building. A word that you accidentally made up trend at number one in the country. That should make you fucking happy. I got no joy about it.
The it, whole thing's annoying. I mean, you don't like the fact that you got a theme song, though? Don't really care for it. Yeah, good one. Let's break here. It's around a face show. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present for your intellectual and philosophical pleasure, Run Fez on Raw Dog, Radar. Sirius XM Comedy Hits, Channel 99. The Ron and Fez Show, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Coming up in just a little while, it's our buddy Jesse Joyce is going to be stopping in. Jesse Joyce, and on Twitter, he's at Jesse Joyce, at Jesse Joyce on Twitter. Here's Dusty in Arizona. What's up, Dusty? Hey, I, I'm new to the show, guys, and I, I'm loving it. Um, but it I'm sitting good. here listening to Fez get all mad at at Shelby and and Chris and and everybody in the world. And the guy that made him stop mid sentence and explain K-Corn is Ron, but he's not getting any any shit at all. Well, I, I new think... to the show, but you got everybody's name down. Okay, um, Dusty, I think the thing that you're missing out there is that I was on Fez's side. Yes. Where the other two guys were, like, busting his balls. Oh, yeah, I didn't get that. Yeah. Well, my bad. All right. Um... <laughs> Shelby, what happens over there? Open your cake horn. Shelby, answer us. So I was uh, ejecting some stuff. That's that's my fuck up. I admit that. Sorry. Um, Who else won't happen would again. Be? What were you ejecting? Just a uh, lot of stuff in our spot block. Uh, won't happen again. That was my. Well, it shouldn't have happened case. since twelve o'clock. Yeah. Uh, I understand. We're still in. I thought maybe you were giving Fez like a do-over. You know what I mean? Get a fresh start. You know, in a pre-K corn world. Or pre Clegghorn. No, he's fuck. just incompetent. Don't expect me to back you up. With all the backup I got today. Um, hold on, we got Jeffrey Gurian on the line. Jeffrey. Hey, this is Jeffrey Gurian from Comedy Matters. This is too much K-Corn. I'm out. <laughs> Why can't you do impressions like that, Shelby? We're still trending at number one with cake horn. It's ridiculous. I've mentioned one word in the middle of something I was upset about. Yeah. I know, and then I stood on your side. And then the Twitterverse, or whatever they call it, make sure they don't back me up either. Isn't that a Twitterverse? I guess it could be Twitterverse. Or Twitterus, I think. Oh, God, that's fucking funny. I really did sound like Gurney a little bit. Comedy mad as I'm out. Well, it's good to see I'm out is uh, taking off as well. Man, I don't want to trend again. I mean, you know what I mean? Trending once a day is plenty. Oh, Shelby and fucking X are sure keeping their fucking cake horns quiet. Oh, yeah. 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 Now that they fucked up big time. Oh, they back each other up. Yeah. I'm not back. He's a fuck up. But, but you know, seriously, the thing. Oh, Re you went running over to save him. Oh. That saves all of us. But uh, <laughs> backing me up doesn't save all of us. I Hashtag think it does. K Corn number one in the United States. That's a great thing. 
But here's the thing. If Fez would have done that, it would have been so hilarious mm-hmm. to everyone. Look what yeah. Fez did. He doesn't even know what fucking buttons to touch. Shelby does it. It's like, oh my God, the precious baby fucked up. <laughs> oh, the mama bear better run over there. What's that mean? Uh, Chris Stanley just flying out of his seat because he thought that Shelby might have fallen out of his fucking crib. <laughs> well, no, I knew what happened. He fucking hit something wrong because he's retarded. Hey, come on. All right. Special needs. He's... Special we don't use the R word. I I didn't know. What about like tarred? By the way, I, I would have said falling out of the high chair is funnier than falling out of the crib next time it comes up. Because I love what about bassinet? I, no, uh, to me, a kid falling out of the high chair is, is fucking hysterical. I got my own fucking thing about that. So how come you didn't fucking? How come you're not making fun of Shelby? Shelby, where's your big fucking um, cake corn right now? Hashtag restart the show. Come on, Fez. <laughs> We've already hashtagged once. I don't want to keep doing it. This is too many characters. <laughs> Only got one forty of them. It's amazing, Shelby. You fucked up today. You did so great last night on the internet. You fucking owned it. But today he struggled. And if you keep staring at the screens in there, maybe the mistake will go away. That's a good one. Happens guys. with me all the time. A fucking good one, seriously. People just seem to forget. That's good. I like what you're saying. He's still looking down like there's something wrong with the screen. Yeah, something. Yeah, something's wrong with that room. That the show restarts. See? All right, what does the pad data say right now? So I'm getting uh, emails about that. I don't have a unit in here. It says, somebody just wrote that it says nohomophobes.com. I can't get Shelby to answer back because he's... Worried. What's the pad data oh, say, look Shelby? It says pad Ron and Fez live for me. So. People are writing in and it says no homophobes. Playing the best of again? Then resend... Uh, on, on both of them, it says Ron and Fez live for me. Redo it. She drive me nuts, Fezzy. Drive me drives me nuts that Chris tells him what to do, and it's still, uh, no, no, no. It says something different, so I won't do what the guy who's supposed to be training me tells me to. K Corn just made the Urban Dictionary too this second. Oh. So we're fucking inventing words here. Um, Louie, you're on the Run of Fez show? Louie. Wayne in Boston, Run of Fez show. Holy shit, it worked. I just called 866-RON-0-K-CORN. Tommy in Buffalo, Run of Fez show. How about Fez, you put his mouth, I put his K-CORN on the curb. Uh, Bryce in Canada. Hey, Ronnie. I often wonder if Fezzy's ever going to find a skin flute for his K-Corn. Hey, I thought people would be catching on to Shelby fucking up. Nope. Nope, because Shelby hasn't come out of the closet yet. Once he, dev- <laughs> once he announces that he's gay, then I, they'll turn on him. Some lunatic just said this. Rolling Stone, Matthew McConaughey will not be returning to next season's True Detective. We all know that. That was the plan from the beginning. They said that since the beginning of the year. Before the Neither show, one of them. Before it's the an all out. different show. I heard Denzel Washington's rumor for next season. If I was Denzel, that thing would fit him perfectly. Now, do you think they're going to be in a different town? I, I, f- I think it's going to be totally different. Like they'll end up in Seattle or whatever. Or whatever. It doesn't matter where. But it's going to be a totally different fucking scene. I got the perfect place for him. Where? Because the detective show's never been done from there before. Where's that? New York City. What? Like, you know, like fucking New Jack City. You know how sometimes we say that? Yeah. Because we, we got some New Jack problems. We need some New Jack cops to take care of it. Where are you going, K-Corn? Someone start the show over again? Uh, our guest. Well. Um, Kirk in Houston, you're on the Run of Fest show. Hey, I just wondered, is it April 6th yet? No, not yet. Mike, you're on the Run of Fez show. Mike. 
lost you. Let's go over to, um, let's go to our good friend Janice in Chicago to chill everybody out. Hi, how are you guys? Good, sweetie. Fuzzy, breathe. Breathe, Fuzzy. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. Can I tell you Thank one you, thing Janice. That you Thank might, you, Ron. That might make you laugh, Fuzzy. What's that? My father-in-law can never be a Bucks fan before. He's going to try this year with Lovey coming down. But his main reason is because he hated that Warren Snap. He always calls him Snap. <laughs> Snap was a guy that people either loved or hated. Yes. Yeah. I've done both. Yeah, you loved him, and now you hate him. Can't stand him. He's an awful human being. So now when you see him, you can laugh and think of him as a damn snap. I got something to... Yeah, I got something to call him now. (laughs) Oh, I got something to call him. With the punches. That's so cool. You trended. How cool is that? See, Fezzy, she's trying to brighten you up. I appreciate it, Janice. I'm just not a big uh, fan of uh, uh, the way the world has embraced uh, cake horn. Well, it's... All with love. Not in this building, it's not, Janice. Not in this building. I can't believe that. Not with your partner right there. Yeah, brother. Good to see you, my man. Jesse Joyce is here. Did you get, real quick, did you get to see the hockey game in the snow the other Yeah, it was beautiful, wasn't it? Wasn't it a blast? Yeah, it was stunning. (laughs) And plus we won. I want to see an all-lake league. I really do. (laughs) It would be so cool. And even the players said they were, like, you know, transcended back to walking with their skates. And oh, their yeah, shoulders. being like little kids again. So cool. All right, honey, talk to you later. Okay, enjoy. Love Thanks, you. Janice. And Fez, you're already in a bad mood today, right? Yes, I'm already pissed off from this morning before Vito. the show even started. Now, why are you mad? Is it, let me guess, is it Shelby? Is it Chris? Is it Vito? Who's mad? made you mad today, Fez? Oh, it's people down the hallway again. I was asked not to mention any names, but got an email from Don Wicklin. Well, then you just mentioned the name. Oh, no, this is uh, who passed it along to me. Got an email from Wiki, got a phone call from Wiki, and I'm more than a little upset that I have been told to stay away from the fishbowl later on today. Uh, keep away, don't go down there, I guess, doing my lurking thing. Uh, well, I think that that's nice that you heard that from Wiki in advance this time. No, it just means someone else is talking about me down the hallway again. Chris? Do you think it's Chris? No, I know it's not Chris. I Shelby, know. Vito? Who is it? No, it's not any of them. I'm not going to mention this person's name, but... Uh, is it me? Apparently, I'm such a plague in this building that uh, I the certain areas need to be Fez quarantined. Mm. You see this as anti-gay? I totally see it as anti-gay. Yeah. Don't, don't let the gay guy go near the fishbowl later on today. Don't let him go around. I think it's more like whose dad is that peering into the fish bowl. <laughs> oh. It's gay dad. Oh, in, all, in all fairness, who's gay dad? Well, then I would have had to adopt. But it's ridiculous that this stuff has to come up. Email and a phone call because the email wasn't enough? That somebody's down the hallway going to Wiki, uh, running their cake horn, tooting that uh, right at Wiki, so that I have, so that I'm told right, to on. stay away from the fishbowl. All right, I just want to get one. Drives thing. me fucking nuts. Well, well, rather than fucking talk over me, can we stop for a second? <laughs> yes, I'm upset. I'm sorry. Yeah. How does someone run their cake horn? <laughs> Is that fucking impossible? That's not real. Is it cake horn? But by that, you mean their mouth? Yes, I mean their... Of course that's I a, mean their mouth. That's a fucking cake hole, not a cake horn. Oh, uh, you either say to someone, fucking shut your horn or shut your cake hole, but there's no such thing as a cake horn. In this case, I think it applies. It a cake goes in one side and the noise comes out the other. You fucked up. While you were trying, by the way, now let me tell you this. There's no such thing as a good story where you don't give away the name. The bl- this. Uh, Brooke, you're on the Run of Fez show. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, they banned Fez because the first rule of K-Corn Club is you can't talk about K-Corn. By the way, I was watching Fight Club again yesterday. A fucking great movie. Oh, yeah. You can't turn it off. 
It's too no, fun. I would never turn it off. Plus, he'll get a little Jared Leto action there, see his early stuff. Yeah, Jared Leto was there before his brother with the fucking star in his neck was going everywhere with him. His brother looks like a real scumbag. <laughs> Jared Leto must have gave the greatest Oscar speech of all last night. It went on, don't you think it went on for a bit long? I thought it was nailed. I thought it was really someone performing a speech rather than reading a fucking laundry list. I thought I I liked I get after I thought he was gonna be out after he thanked his mom. I was like, Oh, that's really nice. This is a nice little story, Jared. Then it kept going and kept going and well, kept it's all going. Nonsense. So oh, this is for the dreamers in Ukraine and Venezuela. Oh thanks. Dude, do you wanna know thanks. something about that though? So yesterday I was trying or the day before the Oscars. I was watching. I was one of the few watch people watching the Independent Spirit Awards. I caught. I caught it. People from Venezuela were tweeting to everyone who was nominated for an Oscar, asking for them to bring it up, like bring up Venezuela, bring up Venezuela. Jared Leto was the only one to do it. Jared Leto listens to social media. He doesn't shut his cake horn. <laughs> he gets Chris. I'm trying to get the word to be used more, so Fez, you know what I mean? I think we should just stop using it no, so we this, can focus. Well, I mean, by me using it, it goes like, like maybe now it's catching on. And then, but him laughing stops and makes it look like you're crazy. That's another derailment. <laughs> Try and turn it around. Right. <laughs> In the Independent Spirit Awards, did you catch the giant editing fuck up when uh, McConaughey and Reese Witherspoon were up on stage? <laughs> They give they give them oh yeah I did they give that. the award out and they cut to Reese with a spoon clapping and acting surprised that someone won the award from her seat when she was already up on stage presenting the award. I thought I was tripping my face off. I've known that Witherspoon is a warlock for quite some time now, and this just proves it. First shut time your cake she horn, up. <laughs> Shelby. Shut your fucking cake horn. You don't even do a good job running the board. I heard. <laughs> Sucky. Oh. Sucky fuck. Bum, 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 bum. It's the Cake Horn News. <laughs> Today in the Cake Horn News, Shelby does a sucky job of running the board. It should be a blind item. Liz Head Spire says, I hope Fez uses his cake horn in a cake porn. She was a big winner last night. I guess I thought we were going to uh, read off the winners. I guess not. Um, shut your bugler hole because that, you know, is mm -hmm. like saying that's just meant to eat buglers. But the cake horn no. uh, doesn't fucking work. Generally, do you say pie hole or cake hole if you're going to tell someone to shut their hole? Cake hole. I say cake hole. Let's say pie hole. I think I'm more of a pie hole guy. Shelby? I usually go uh, pie hole or Danish flute, you know, depending oh, on... Who oh, shit. fuck you! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this fucking kid took you down, Fezzy. That's like the one, the one, two, three kid jumped in the fucking <laughs> ring. <laughs> He's just upset he didn't think of the word cake horn. There is no word king, cake horn. There's no way to fucking think of it. It's it doesn't real. exist. It's not real, dude. Could we focus on what's at hand? What part of this team has been verbally attacked again? Verbally, I say gay bashed. No, that part doesn't matter. This is the cake horn. That's the fucking best part. It's fun, the cake horn. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's Sean, North Carolina. You're on the Run of Fez show. I remember growing up, we'd hear the cake horn go off, and we knew Daddy would be home from the cake factory any minute. It's kind of like the end of the Flintstones, <laughs> except for the cake horn would blow, and everyone at the bakery was able to head home. Fez, you've derailed this and taken it into a different area. That was not my intent. I guess from saying cake horn. My intent was to point out, oh, now this is being, being put into official company emails. So you think that they're trying to make you look crazy? Oh, yeah. Then let me give you this recommendation. All right. Don't use words like cake horn. Why did you say cake horn? I'm upset and Cake Horn came out. Wasn't there an Ellen Cake Horn that used to be on Saturday Night Live? <laughs> Loved her. It was Clegg Horn. Tell her to shut her Clegg Horn. Have you said Cake Horn before? <laughs> I would have assumed everyone had at no some one point in their fucking life. fucking said Cake Horn. <laughs> that one didn't... You, you, you took two phrases for the mouth. I don't mean to stop you from being frustrated, but you took two phrases and jammed them together, and now neither one makes sense. 
It's adding to my frustration that this is all anyone wants to talk about. Vito is right. You're stupid, Fez. <laughs> no offense, but Vito is right about you. I tried to Google Cape Horn. I mean, if it's real, Google will have it. They just want. They just think I'm saying Cape Horn. Um, Joey, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, would you guys stop ganging up on on Fez? Just you know, shut your pastry pastry flaps and leave them alone. Nice Dude. try. You sounded like Ellen last night. Ouch! Oh, Trying to introduce somebody. Whoa. Blind item stories do not work. You know what I mean? <laughs> I won't read the article that says, you know, what fucking movie star got a blowjob from a certain TV hostess. Can you? No. Can you guess? Just fucking tell us. Who it was. Or shut your fucking cake horn. Keep your cake horn. <laughs> shut your made up word, the cake horn. People are talking about me. But, but look. And out of their cake horns. It's not about the cake horn, Chris. It is about the fucking cake horn. It's, it's not, not crazy. It's not about the cake horn. It's about somebody talking oh. shit about me again. Here's the, you know why it's not about. Don't the, focus on that. But you know why it's not about the cake horn? Because there's no fucking such thing as a cake horn. This, been, this thing's been derailed by the cake horn. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Try to forget the fact, Chris. Um, excuse me, is this the bakery? I'd like to order a cake horn. What do you mean it's not a real thing? Isn't it a horn made out of cake? Or is it, would you think it's a horn filled with cake? I think it's a horn filled with cake. There is no such thing as a cake horn. <laughs> know that. It's cake hole. A horn sounds off. Cake yes. goes in a mouth. Right, you could have said... The mouth sounds off. You could have said either one, but you can't say both. <laughs> I found a cake horn. Right, now you're just putting up pictures of cake horns. That's a cake with a horn <laughs> decorated on a it. A horn-shaped cake. Why doesn't anyone on this team back me up? You're worried, Chris, that I said cake horn instead of, you know, that someone on your team's getting talked about down the hallway again. I talk about you for saying cake horn. It's a cra it's crazy thing to say. You know, the Ohio State marching band, they get a lot of credit, but their cake horn player, I mean, is just outstanding. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut what up about the cake horn, Shelby. It's not about that. It's about me being banned from a certain part of the building? That's ridiculous. Maybe it is anti gay. It's like saying we don't want you in the men's room. It's almost like they're afraid that you're gonna make up a word out of nowhere. <laughs> Um, Dan in Florida, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Bobby, it's hey, Fezzy, I'm not normally with you, but today I'm fucking 100% with you. That makes complete, total fucking sense. You said toot your cake horn right after it, so I was following along, dude. That's a fucking word, man. That is a fucking word. Well, the horn, he could have definitely said shut your horn. I think that people do say that, <laughs> and they do say shut your cake hole. Yeah. Well, too, High hole. I would even go so far as you could have said, boy, lesbian gay bashing. <laughs> you, know, you know who would have done a way better job of hosting the Oscars? That was, old that old Daily Show host, Craig Cakehorn. I mean, he would have done, oh, he done a great Man, job. Like a Damn, yo. Why don't you try to fucking run the board instead of using your cakehorn? Try to do that correctly one day. Technical. So far, he hasn't made any mistakes today. No, with Chris uh, watching over his shoulder, Mama Bird. I feel like you're pulling the curtain back a little bit for the peop no, <laughs> no, <laughs> people Papa at home. Bird. No. They got no respect for you, Fez. This thing turned into a fucking serious. They got no respect for you. No, I, to me, it is very serious. Yeah, well, And they could care less. Well, they just don't want to be you know, seen with you for whatever reason. It's weird. The guy's saying cake horn all over the place. I don't know what's going on. Jason, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, Ron, love the show. Fez, I love you. Uh, is the cake horn a standalone cake or a standalone horn? Could we forget for two seconds that I said the word cake horn? Yeah, I got That's no all I can remember. I get no respect. My wife keeps uh, running a cake horn. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's doing impressions. <laughs> or was that actually Rodney? <laughs> impressions of a really bad employee. It's the it's the sh it's the quick shoot down that doesn't work for you, Fez. You let them fucking string you out. I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt this other thing with you, but it points out why people think that you're a little bit odd. The cake horn. 
that Kate Corn has nothing to do with what the email was about you know or what? the phone call. You know what? Let me apologize to you. You are correct. I'm going to shut my cake horn and let you get back to what was really bothering you. What was bothering me is yet someone is still talking shit about me down the hallway when they shouldn't be. From an event that happened weeks ago, that was perfectly fine and was not my fault and has been told, by, told to me by the bosses uh, I did the absolute correct thing. If you so did, now, if, if you did, then why would they tell you to stay away from this one? That's what I don't understand. Because now it seems like when I was told, "Oh, you did nothing wrong." What time is this thing? Uh four. You know, Jesse Joyce is coming in today. Who's a friend of that guy's? Oh yeah, yeah. Jesse Joyce will be here in just a little bit, in about an hour. Should I tell him to shut his cake horn and not go down there and bring up anything to him? Hey, if they're friends, I got no problem with it. I don't see anything wrong with saying hello to a friend. You were warned by Wiki. I was. Jesse Joyce wasn't. Yeah, but everyone knows now that you're behind it. If the two just happen to run into each other. I don't like.